Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of June 15th to the 21st. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so the first card that is out here, not such a good card, it's the Three of Cups in the reverse position. So this card is usually indicative of gossip, it's a little bit of a hostility. Um, oftentimes it is a cup energy so there might be like recent falling out between people and it's sort of like a process that you're going through in which you might not know where you stand with other people so there's that um, you know it's kind of like the calm before the storm so there might be as well um, perceived resentment perceived threats from other people but the bottom line is I just feel that um, when you're in the office for example you're going to encounter whispers and you don't really know what people are talking about and you don't know if they're really talking about you. So I would say in general, don't let this get to your head and don't let it um, color or taint the rest of the week for you, okay? So it's in general, it's not a good card, but um, don't let it be a problem. People are always going to talk, so make sure that you stand firm in whatever it is that you do and just, um, you know, let it, leave it alone, I, I guess. Yeah, so I do feel that it is going to be in a work environment. For a lot of you, we have the Hierophant in the, um, as what's crossing you. And I do feel that um, you're going to have to try your best to play nice, okay? A lot of you might have encountered this in the recent past. This is something like falling out between people. This is new information coming to light. This is something that really shook the foundation and especially... If it's in a work situation, I feel that it might be for a lot of you. I do sense that um, it's sort of like being passed over for a promotion. It's something that you were really sure of. And then you find out that um, somebody else was chosen. And you find out that it might have been a slight. So it, it was something that was really hyped up. And then it didn't come to fruition. So at this point, you're feeling a little nervous. And you're feeling a little insecure about where you stand with other people. And um, once again, don't let it affect your work performance and don't let it affect um, your interaction with other people. And I know that's very difficult to do, but it is really important to put on a brave face, okay? And one of the saving grace, what's coming in for you is the Six of Cups. This is people who know you. This is people from your past. And especially, this is people that have... Um, I guess have gone through the process with you so they know what you're about these are the people that will vouch for you that will actually stay around and cheer you up for this week and it's really important to um, take the time off and spend it with people who know you very well so that you can stand firm in your conviction that you can uh, rebuild your self-confidence because I do feel that you know this gossip issue um, don't let it get to you and I do feel a lot of it is sort of like perceived threats from your environment rather things than than it happening I feel like it might be in your head it might just be you know something that you are imagining and the 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 truth is you don't know why people are doing this so you don't really know what they're talking about so we're going to see the outcome and gradually you know hopefully we can flush out this energy so yeah, what's crowning you here is the Seven of Wands. So I do feel, in general, don't let this affect you because it's not based on reality, okay? So we have the Seven of Wands as the energy that's crowning you in the reverse position. So this is conflict, but I feel like, you know, upright is you against the world. And you're kind of oblivious to a lot of the criticism going on around you. However, in the reverse position, I do feel that you are going to do whatever it is that you want to do. And other people are coming around, or rather, they're not giving much stock into it, and they're letting the differences go. So this is kind of like the end of the conflict. And a lot of you, too, might have been dealing with this situation where, you know, new information comes to light, or um, especially with that Mercury retrograde, too. I do sense that it might have been like a, a blowout between, you know, people from the work front or something that um, people have disappointed you. And these are not people that you trust completely, so you're not surprised that it happened, okay? And as a result, you're really not concerned that much about what they have to offer or what they have to say. So this signifies to me that the conflict is alleviating its ending. So this residual energy in which people are talking and, you know, you hear whispers around the office, 
it's about something else, okay? It's not really about you. So don't let it get to you and go about your merry way. I feel like that's the best strategy to deal with this situation. As for what's in your subconscious environment or in your subconscious that you're not aware of, um, we have the Seven of Cups here, and in the reverse position, it does indicate to me as well mental clarity. Okay, so a lot of you might have been in situations where you have a lot of possibilities open up for you, and I do feel, in a sense, this was um, promised by other people. Um, they tell you all these nice things, and you know, they didn't follow through, but because the tower happened in the very recent past, you came to expect it. So now the road to forge ahead is, is basically clearer. You know what you want to do and you know the viable options available to you. So it's kind of like emerging from you know, the end of the tunnel into the light where the road ahead is paved for you so you're not at a loss for what you should do. As for the advice here, Six of Swords. And um, in the traditional deck, if you um, remember the imagery, it's um, a woman and a child on a canoe, and a man is rowing the boat or rowing the canoe to calmer waters. However, in the traditional deck, one of the things that is troublesome is that um, the six swords are also on the boat, okay, with the, the woman. Or they're in, the six swords are in the boat with the women. I like this deck, and I like the imagery depicted here mainly because um, she's sailing on, and she's leaving the swords behind. The swords are like mental anguish in this situation. So the advice here is sail on past it. Do not let it get to you. And in this situation, it's sort of like you came to expect it, and now you're moving forward with your life. And what people do and what they say really has no bearing on you, and it really doesn't affect you. So this is the advice that you want to move um, forward with, okay? So... Um, what it's telling me in general based on this spread is that um, it is really important for you to know where you stand, okay? And you're going to get affirmation of it by the people who know you very well. So they're going to um, not only help boost your self-esteem, but they're going to tell you, I know you and I, I know you should do this because this is in alignment with your true identity, Rather than, you know, faking it and doing something that is not in alignment with your own value system. So coming into contact with people who have been there for you through thick and thin, you're going to realize that um, you have a lot more allies and that you have a lot of support from those around you, and especially those who have known you for a really long time. And they're still willing to stick by you because, you know, they, they know what you're about. So trust that. Don't trust the people who know you on a very superficial level because they don't know the real you. Okay, so move on ahead and don't let that dampen your self-esteem. And um, as for the external environment, we do have the temperance card, okay? And the temperance card, um, I like this deck mainly because of its depiction of this. So it's sort of like, you know that expression like too many cooks spoil the broth? It's sort of like everyone is chipping in their two cents or, you know, they're, they're offering their opinion unsolicited. And you're kind of like putting on a brave face with everybody involved. But ultimately, you're going to do what you want, okay? So as for the external environment, in this situation that you're working with, everyone in general is putting on a brave face or um, they're putting on airs. So it's sort of like everyone offers their idea but ultimately, the people in charge of the business, the people in charge of the project, the people in charge of the relationship, they don't really want to um, heed other people's warning, heed other people's advice. So they're you know, presenting themselves quite falsely, but at the same time, ultimately, they, are, they know what they're about and they're going to do things their way. So you're actually dealing with a lot of competent people. They have very strong opinions and they, you know, they, they want to help. Ultimately, they want to help. I feel like it is a really good environment that you're in. However, they because they're so opinionated, they might come about it in a very abrasive way. And it's not meant to hurt, but it can be perceived as a, a slight. You know, So be careful about that. And as for the hopes and aspirations, or hopes and fears, excuse me, we have the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands is in the reverse position. I'm going to pull out... Yeah, 
Okay, so you really don't have anything to worry about for this week because ultimately you have the strength card. This is basically um this is basically finding out that how resilient that you, you can be amidst all this chaos, amidst all this, um, I guess, like uh, uncertainty about where people stand or where you stand with other people, what other people are up to. There's a sense of like secrecy starting in the beginning of this week, but at the end of it, it's the unveiling process. OK, so clarity is coming into the picture you're going to realize what you want to do, what you have to do in this situation. So things are not going to be, uh, troublesome energies are not going to be brought with you moving past this week, okay? It has a very, very good outcome. So in general, your fears in terms of stalled projects, in terms of um, um, counting on somebody and then not having them show up at the crucial moment when you really need them, that is definitely unfounded, okay? The people are going to be there for you, and especially if you are interacting with somebody from your past, or even like work partnerships, um, exes, I would say exes even, and um, even like family relationships. I do feel that people that you've had an extensive history with, they are going to be the ones to follow through with whatever it is that they're promising you, okay? So your fears are definitely, definitely unfounded. You're in a good place right now. So this week is going to be very phenomenal. And at the very least, a lot of the illusions, a lot of the, you know, he said, she said, that is definitely going to dissipate, okay? You're going in to come into, um, like, full knowledge. And this is also a card that in, uh, indicates, um, you know, that, that process in which... Um, it's sort of like self-denial or even denial, but this has to do with the self. It's sort of like knowing, it's sort of like you can no longer lie to yourself at this point. So you really have to forge your head with this new information. But at the same time, you know people's true colors and you have to come to the sense that um, despite everything, you are very resilient. You're going to get past this. So the, the theme for the week, I guess, would be you know, this too shall pass, and you're moving on to a better place, okay? So it looks very good, and I feel in general this is going to be a very, like, um, therapeutic t type of week, okay? So I hope you enjoy the reading, and have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next week.